In this video, we are going to have a discussion about human respiratory system based MCQs. Let's move to the question number one. Which of the following is an endodermal structure in respiratory system? These are the lungs which originate from embryonic layer endoderm, while others in the list they are mesodermal structures. In man, the windpipe is present on ventral side of esophagus. So Charlie. The mode of respiration in mammals is pulmonary, that is via lungs. All the dust particles trapped by mucus, they are propelled finally towards pharynx for removal or expulsion. So beta is the right option over here. Pharynx or trachea, they move the trapped particles towards pharynx. They are responsible for the controlling uh, controlling air distribution in the lungs by changing the diameter. These are the bronchioles, delta. And smooth muscles are present in all parts of the body except uh, alveoli, are parts of respiratory system. Trachea, bronchioles, and bronchi, they are made up of smooth muscles. But alveoli, they don't possess smooth muscles. So right option is delta over here. Number six. Mountain climbers may have difficulty at high elevations because the partial pressure of oxygen is low as you elevate at higher altitude. So alpha is the right option. Number seven, these keeps, uh, keep trachea open. These are the cartilage structures, C-shaped cartilage which keeps trachea open. So alpha. Number eight. It is not true about alveoli. Alveoli, they are 0.1 micrometer thick approximately, and they're having uh, collagen and elastin fibers. But surfactant is used to decrease the surface tension. So Charlie is a wrong statement over here. And delta, surfactant help to kill bacteria is a right statement with the help of macrophages over there. Apex of lungs extends above the first rib, as you can see in this diagram that lungs, they are standing even uh, higher than the first pair of ribs. So beta. Each hemoglobin molecule can bind with four molecules of oxygen because there are four heme groups and each heme group can carry one oxygen molecule. Which of the following is false about inspiration? Inspiration involves lungs expansion, contraction of diaphragm and intercostal muscles. But we know ribs, they move upward and uh, in outward direction rather than moving inward. So delta is a wrong statement over here for the inspiration. What is the composition of surfactant in alveoli? Alveoli is made up of lipoprotein, so beta, which of the following is most important regulator of normal alveolar ventilation. It is carbon dioxide gas. This is always in higher concentration in oxygenated or deoxygenated blood. But oxygen becomes more important uh, regulator during exercise, stress, or extreme breathing. If a molecule of carbon dioxide gas is released into the blood in your left toe, is exhaled from your nose, it must pass through all of the following, except, you know, it will not pass through pulmonary vein because the carbon dioxide gas produced by the body tissues is released into the right atrium, then into the right ventricle, and over here, it moves via pulmonary arteries into the lungs. And from lungs, it will be, most probably, it will be exhaled out. So there will be lesser chances uh, to pass through the pulmonary vein as well. So alpha. Which of these is anatomically incorrect? The nose has two nasal cavities. Yes, it has. Pharynx connects the nasal and oral cavities. Yes. And the larynx contains vocal cords. Yes, it is right. But trachea enters the lungs is a wrong statement because trachea divides into the bronchi first before entering the lungs. So delta is the answer over here. The chemical reaction that converts carbon dioxide into a bicarbonate ion takes place in the blood cells, red blood cells, because formation and decomposition of carbon dioxide gas uh, as well as carbonic acid takes place over here. And in the lungs, it, it is converted into carbon dioxide gas again. Most carbon dioxide gas is transported via uh, blood plasma. 
moves through the carbon dioxide gas, it is actually transported via black plasma in the form of bicarbonate ions. And for the formation of bicarbonate ions, it must combine with water in red blood cells to form carbonic acid first. So Charlie is the right option over here. If you hold your breath for a long time, body CO2 level are likely to increase and the pH of body fluid is likely to decrease because due to formation of carbonic acid, there will be release of more hydrogen ions. So beta, and we know more hydrogen ion means lower is the pH. Low partial pressure of oxygen in tissues favors the dash of oxyhemoglobin. It will favor dissociation from hemoglobin, so alpha. In human, the respiratory control center is stimulated by carbon dioxide gas, is located in the medulla oblongata. It controls the rate of breathing and is stimulated by hydrogen ion concentration as well. So the last one is the right option. That all of these, they are the right statement for control center present in the medulla. If the digestive and respiratory tracts were completely separated in humans, there would be no need of uh, for epiglottis because epiglottis is for the purpose of prevention of food entering into the trachea. Which of these is a true statement? In lung capillaries, carbonic acid breaks down to carbon dioxide, gas, and water to release CO2 is the right statement. And which of the following will always be high in concentration in expired air as compared to inspired air? It will be carbon dioxide gas, which is 4%, as compared to 0.04 or 0.03% carbon dioxide gas, which is inhaled. An oxygenated blood from the lungs is carried to the heart by pulmonary veins, while pulmonary arteries, you know, they carry deoxygenated blood away from the heart towards the lungs. Carboxyhemoglobin is formed when carbon dioxide gas combines with amino group of hemoglobin, so alpha, and residual volume of the lung is 1.5 liter, which is never exhaled even after forceful expulsion. It's 1.5 liter, which is the residual volume. That serves as intermediate compound for the transfer of oxygen from hemoglobin to aerobic metabolic processes of the muscles. It is myoglobin, which acts as intermediate, adding transport of carbon dioxide gas, sodium bicarbonate, and potassium chloride. They form, respectively, in plasma and red blood cells. How much oxygen is released to tissues per 100 ml of blood? It is 5 ml because there is almost 5 ml difference between deoxygenated and oxygenated blood. The amount of oxygen is 5 ml different. In the last question, the maximum amount of air that our lung can normally hold is 5 liter, 5 to 6 liter, and that is known as total lung capacity. And total lung capacity is the total amount of air that is held by our lungs when they are fully inflated. So Charlie is the right option over here. It was all about human uh, respiratory system based MCQs. Thank you so much for listening. Allah Hafiz.